Void Mage Gamer is now partnered with Flipside Gaming, so you can use the promo code on their website, all caps, Void Mage, to get 10% off all orders, $10 or more. It's a great way that you can support both Flipside Gaming and Void Mage Gamer's channel. Hello guys, welcome back to another Commander Deck Tech video. As always, I do pull off a few options to my patrons over on Patreon.com. Every week they get to decide what commanders I do videos on. This week we did have a different theme, kind of like last week. We did mono green options, this time we did mono black ones, and it was kind of close between a few commanders. I really want to eventually get around to doing Shizo's Caretaker because she is kind of interesting, but they ended up choosing Marinar. Also a pretty cool, pretty unique commander option, especially if you love rats. Rat Tribal is exactly what we're going to do here. Marinar is a 5 mana, 2, 3 rat rogue legendary creature. All of your rats have fear. If you're unfamiliar with fear, it basically means that the creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures or black creatures. And Maronar, very much like Krenko Mob Boss for goblins, you can sacrifice a rat to put X11 black rat creature tokens into play where X is the number of rats you control. It does unfortunately require you to sacrifice a rat, so it may not be as quick as Krenko, but the fact that you're also giving all of your rats fear should make up for that. The cool thing about rats is that you have two creatures in particular that can pretty much get rid of all of the excess terrible rats that you don't want to play. We have Rat Colony and Relentless Rats. For my deck, I'm going to go with Relentless Rats just because I appreciate the plus one, plus one. That additional plus one to the toughness is so important, especially when your opponents are capable of just giving minus one, minus one to all creatures. That would really suck with Rat Colony. So Relentless Rats is just way superior in this deck, in my opinion. Cool thing about both of these creatures, though, is that you can play any number of them in your deck. And this is Commander Singleton format. The whole concept of doing that is is just weird but it's especially hilarious if you can do that while also playing something like thrumming stone which gives all of your spells ripple four so it only really matters with your rat colonies or your relentless rats because every single time you play one of them you're going to look at the top four if you have any more off the top four you can then just play them get more of those rats out there and you have a huge just a massive army of rats in addition to whatever you can start making with maronar they all have fear this could potentially be a win con if your deck is is quick enough. I just like the combination of having a ton of rat tokens and a ton of relentless rats out there with massive power and toughness. Another cool combo with Marinar is Thornbite Staff. This is pretty funny because you can just sacrifice a rat, untap Marinar, and just keep generating this army of rats. So another advantage to playing Marinar over something like Krenko for tokens is that you do have the cooler combos. And with all those tokens, you can easily win with something like an Altar of the Brood, Altar of Dementia. Or if you just want to win with good old-fashioned tribal advantage in numbers, you could go with the Door of Destinies, Coat of Arms. They make your army that's already going to be filled with massive relentless rats even bigger. So yeah, enjoy your rats with fear that are also massive. The other advantage to playing black is that you're playing some of the best staples in Commander. Black just seems to do a lot really well, so the fact that you're playing tokens is really easy to abuse with things like Blood Artist, Zulapart Cutthroat. If you have any sort of sack outlets, you can stay in the game a lot longer with these creatures. And we also have things like Razaketh the Foul-Blooded. Again, a ton of creatures, a ton of sack fodder, and you're doing something that black does really well, and that is tutor without having to reveal the cards that you tutor for. And you do, of course, have things like Grave Pact and Dictate of Erebos. So whenever you do want to sacrifice a rat to Marinar, you're going to force your opponents to sacrifice creatures as well. So if you want a bit of control, a bit of removal, these definitely don't hurt. But we do probably have one of the best support cards for any tribal deck in black, and that is Patriarch's Bidding. So if your opponents are capable of board wiping, getting rid of all of your relentless rats, you could just simply play this and get all of them back. Because chances are, you're going to be playing the tribal deck that has the most stuff in the graveyard. And even more importantly, you're probably going to have more relentless rats in your graveyard yard so getting them all back replenishing your army this card is just insane but other than that the deck is pretty simple you do have flexibility with marinar compared to a lot of tribal decks in the sense that you don't just have to go purely with the rat tribe outside of the relentless rats you could just go with good value creatures in black supplementing what is going to be 30 or 40 relentless rats so the deck does have a bit of flexibility there but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video Hope you check out Marinar if you haven't already. Very powerful, can come out of nowhere and win games, especially when you're giving your rats fear, making them bigger with something like a coat of arms. That's just insane. You all have a wonderful day. Void here signing off. See you all next video.